Hello overclockers, my name's Bryony and welcome to another BIOS update episode. I hope that you've been enjoying our regular BIOS flash updates with big news stories in a small format. In today's main episode, I've got exciting news about the Commonwealth Games, an upcoming free to play title from Riot Games and a tasty looking cake to eat. So let's jump into it. Our first gaming story this week is that eSports is a part of the Commonwealth Games for the first time ever this year. And Overclockers UK are proud to sponsor the talented eSport England team. We actually recently visited one of their bootcamp sessions taking place in Birmingham to drop off a whole load of Asus laptops and various different peripherals to ensure that they have absolutely everything needed to come out on top and bring those medals home. In between games of Dota 2, Rocket League and eFootball, I actually managed to sneak in a couple of interviews and here's a replay of some of the highlights. I started playing Dota when I was about 15. And my friends were like, you should play this game called Rocket League, it's football with cars, and we all played football. And then I started watching the streams on Twitch, and you see all, just the stage, seeing everyone playing, it's, it made me want to go competitive in this game. It made me want to be pro. I got into Dota at uni. Um, big, I know, no mistake, but basically, so I got into it at the end of my first year of uni, and second year was just like, a blur. I was like so addicted. I was just locked away in my room, just grinding all the time. Absolutely loved it. I'm on my third PC, I think, that I've built myself. So at the moment, it's a few years old. I'm using a RTX 2070 along with an i9 yeah. CPU. And I mean, I use a Vamilo Sakura keyboard with my Logitech G Pro Super Light mouse, which is the best mouse I've ever used in my entire life. I think. If you, have go, if you have more than one monitor, you, I don't think you can go back to a single monitor. Like, I'm struggling with these ones here because it's only one monitor. <laughs> 3080, uh, nice. I have an i7 10700K, uh, I have 16 gigabyte RAM, but I'm getting a new computer in, I won a line in November in London, and Asus are giving me one with like a 3090 uh, i9 10700 or something. So it's, my setup's really good. I got 360 hertz as well. Oh, so. Wow. I always, you've always got to try and get the best if you want it to be your job. You've always got to pursue it. Oh, I think my setup at home, I think you'd think was rubbish, to be honest. I have this little dinky pink IKEA chair, like a really rubbish little like kitchen chair almost, um, which is lame. I do, I have recently acquired two monitors, so that's nice. You get your Discord on one and, you know, data on another. I was very surprised. Um, I didn't think it was possible, like, to even play for England. Um, and obviously now I don't want to let them down, especially picking me. I've, I've, got to, I've got to be confident and go in and get the best result. It still hasn't quite set in, even though we've been at boot camp for a few days. The fact that we're representing England is a big sort of achievement in life, yeah. I was just so excited to be part of it, really, especially for the first one. I think it's such a step forward um, for women and for esports. It's something that you only really dream about in kind of a way, like, wow, I can't believe it's me being picked to represent England in such a a big new event. I had a brilliant time hearing all about each player's story and how it feels to represent England, so keep an eye out for the full video. Remember, the finals will be taking place this weekend with different events on both Saturday and Sunday. You can follow all the team's story over on the Esports England Twitter account and as an added bonus, there's also a giveaway for a limited edition Noble Chair. I'll drop a link below if you want to enter. The next gaming story this week is news from Riot Games, who recently provided more updates on their upcoming fighting game, currently named Project L. The gameplay is set in the League of Legends world of Runeterra and features familiar champions from the game. In the most recent announcement, we got a glimpse of more action-packed gameplay from this two-on-two -two fighter, where you control one fighter directly and use the other for those assist attacks. Supposedly, the team is finalizing the game's core mechanics alongside adding features for competitive play, social systems, and additional champions such as Alawi. There's actually a detailed blog post from Riot that I recommend go ahead and reading if you wanna learn more how they are adapting those League of Legends champions for a fighting game, which is obviously a very different style. Also shared in this update was exciting news that Project L will be free to play. 
Tom Cannon said, we want you to be able to play no matter where you live, what your skill level is, or how much money you have to spend on a game. Very wholesome. There's obviously going to be some monetization happening at some point, just like you get the skins in League of Legends. However, Tom did add that these will be respectful of both your time and your wallet. It sounds as though things are going really, really well for the development team and fingers crossed, we should get a launch date sometime in 2023. Kicking off the hardware launches is this stunning new PC in the APAC range. It's called the Comet and I absolutely adore the white and blue aesthetic they've chosen for this particular build. However, you can have it in any color you want. You maybe have already seen our video with the Meteoroid PC and the Comet is a similar system but with a slightly larger footprint to accommodate two huge 480mm radiators here at the bottom. Everything about it is customizable because the case is actually designed and built in-house here at Overclock UK. Carbon, aluminium or coloured acrylic like we have here is all possible. They can actually even print directly onto the surface so you can have any design that you want. Imagine your custom design on your PC. Of course, the fittings, fluid and cables can also be changed to match as well. As it's an APAC system, it uses the latest and greatest hardware with an NVIDIA RTX 3090 GPU and i9 12900KS processor. It's all tuned and overclocked by APAC himself for maximum performance and obviously, all that crazy cooling is also going to be suitable for the next generation of hardware whenever it finally arrives. If you want to learn more about the Comet, you can check out the full video right here on YouTube and I'll also add a link below to the Overclockers website. Next in the hardware chapter this week, Be Quiet are celebrating their 20th anniversary. And of course, this big birthday wouldn't be complete without cake. So dim the lights, roll the music and light those candles. in the Overclocker's office and to add to all the excitement, I've got a selection of Be Quiet's new FX ARGB products to show off to you right now. Be Quiet is actually notoriously subtle when it comes to design, but even they couldn't resist the lure of colorful lighting. The brand new range includes the Pure Base 500 case, three different sizes of the Pure Loop all-in-one cooler and the Pure Rock 2 air cooler. This new range of FX products offers customizable lighting with multiple modes and maximum airflow for the great cooling performance you'd expect from Be Quiet. You can check out the full range right now on the Overclockers website where they're all in stock and ready for next day delivery. They're absolutely perfect for upgrading your cooling while still enjoying the synchronization and beauty of the ARGB lighting. You can find the links below. Now time for another slice of cake. To round off this week's episode, let's take a look at the Overclockers blog. It looks like August is a very busy month for new game releases and Ruth has picked out the top five new games releasing this month. You've got Two Point Campus on the 10th and I found Two Point Hospital to be hilarious fun, so I'm sure a university full of students will be even more of a challenge. Arcade Paradise releases on the 11th, followed by Marvel's Spider-Man Remastered on the 12th, followed by Curse to Golf on the 18th. Finally, the highly anticipated new Saints Row game launches on August the 23rd. 
We've included the hardware requirements for each game in the blog post and paired them with one of Overclockers UK's pre-built gaming PCs, ideal for playing these new releases. Let me know what new game you're most looking forward to in the comments below and remember to check out that full article. I mentioned a couple of months ago that the BBC Proms was going to include gaming soundtracks for the first time ever this year. And earlier this week, the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra assembled in the Royal Albert Hall to perform from 8-bit to infinity. It had a mix of tracks from throughout the history of music in video games. Jacob has actually put together a brilliant blog post going over the different highlights from the event. It actually included music from Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts, Shadow of the Colossus, The Legend of Zelda, Battlefield 2042, Journey, Dear Esther, and many, many more. If, like me, you're feeling a pang of regret after not obtaining tickets, thankfully, From 8-Bit to Infinity will be available to stream on the BBC iPlayer soon, and it will also be shown on BBC4 on Friday the 5th, which is today, at 8pm, so make sure to tune in. As always, it's hard to pick just a couple of blog posts to share, so definitely check out what our busy content team has been working on over the past couple of weeks. I'll make sure to drop a link below so you can head over there now and check them out after today's episode. Thanks for watching today's episode of BIOS Update. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment below letting me know what you think of 8PAC's new PC. And of course, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you don't miss our upcoming bi-weekly episodes. I'll catch you again in the next one.